you have a thought of um, um, in, in order to move this this forward in a in a in a large scale sooner? What's sort of the next nut to crack um, from a, a challenge perspective or a, a systems yeah. uh, inter systems uh, relationship perspective or a, some kind of a barrier that's a sticky widget? Um, What's the, what's the next nut to crack? I wish I could say there was just one. Um, the whole, so it's a whole bowl of nuts. It's a whole bowl of nuts, I think. And, and it's interesting because that's actually the topic of a panel that I'm doing at Green Build in a couple of days. Oh. So I'm facilitating a, a panel with Casey Talon at IDC. Uh, Casey and IDC have published a smart building maturity model fairly recently, mm. which I find quite interesting. And, and so it is a way of taking a snapshot of well, how smart is my building? And it's more from an energy efficiency perspective than a, a, a full sustainability perspective. But you know, it's, it's, it's one tool mm -hmm. to help an average building owner to look, at, look in the mirror with this other lens of, okay, where am I on that smart building maturity model? You know, am I, am I um, for example, in a smart, in a smart building, you know, a very smart building, you're going to be addressing, um, you're not going to just be addressing the, the basic stuff like HVAC and lighting, but you're going to be addressing plug loads and user behavior, and you're going to be really um, looking at optimizing performance over time, over the life of the building. Mm -hmm. So if you're a building manager, a facility manager, and you're not thinking in those terms, you, you know, maybe you're just thinking about, um, you know, making sure that you decrease the number of complaints, maybe uh, so people are basically comfortable, um, or maybe you're you're doing a great job with your HVAC and lighting, but but that's where you've stopped. Mm -hmm. um, this shows a path, a possible path of what needs to be addressed next. I think that that's a tool, mm -hmm. but it's not a. There's no mm -hmm. silver bullets. I think. So. But what comes to my mind as you say that is, um, hadn't thought about this before. That in some ways smart buildings becomes a lens into really understanding what a building is for, how it's used, yeah. how, how humanity interacts in buildings because we do, you know, especially in the urban environment, we do the vast majority of our living and interaction in buildings and um, yeah. um, this, this whole um, field will come to know more and more, not from, you know, a, you know, creepy perspective, but from uh, just uh, what do people need to be supported in living their lives and how can yeah. the building um, as a living organism uh, as respond and um, work in collaboration with the humans that Absolutely. are in it. And that is the purpose of, of that, you know, of the structure really is to make it uh, a great place to live, work, play, a safe place. Um, you know, uh, productive place. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, that being healthy, uh, it, you know, healthy buildings are extremely important. So you've got to look at all the different factors that that um, that make a, a building serve its function, and its function can differ. You know, so if it's a hospital, the goals and the, the needs of the stakeholders in that hospital, from patients to you know caregivers to to administrators, you know. They're different, and you need to be able to meet the needs of all those constituents all the time, mm -hmm. especially all the time in a hospital, 24-7. We can't have the instances like we had with um, Hurricane Sandy where they had to evacuate people from that New York hospital. We've got to find a way, to, you know, with, with hospitals and, and certain kinds of 24-7 facilities to make sure that the power's always on, it's always safe, it's always reliable. Mm -hmm. Big, tall order. Right.